I'm going to show you some basic Tasmota rules to create a motion detected light that will turn itself off. So we first just need to access the motion sensor Tasmota device. Just log on to my router so I can find the IP that's assigned to it. So once we've accessed it, we'll then just add a host name to the Tasmota device and use DHCP to get an IP address automatically. Using DHCP makes it easier to reference and it doesn't matter then if the IP address gets changed later on as we'll just continue to access it from the host name. So from the main menu, just click configuration and click configure Wi-Fi. Then at the bottom, just type the host name in the box. So I'll just name this one my motion sensor. Then go back to the main menu and I just need to make sure my Tasmota device has got the correct template set up for it. Yours might already be set up for this. So again, from the main menu, just click configure and then click other. If you check the description in this video, there's a link to a big database of all the templates of Tasmota devices. So you should be able to find yours on there. So for mine, I've got a, a Toya Alarm motion sensor. So I'll just click that one. So then if you just copy and paste the template string and then paste it into the template field from the Tasmota web interface. Also make sure the activate tick box is enabled. It might be grayed out as well, but just make sure it's still ticked. Then at the bottom, just change the device name and friendly name as well to, I, I do it to the same as a host name. So my motion sensor. Okay, so click save and go back to the main menu. On my specific device, I've, I've also got to enable a setting within the console, so I'll just paste that in there. So the motion sensor is set up now. We just need to do the same for the smart plug. So it's the same as before. So go into configuration and configure Wi-Fi. So for the host name on this one, I'll I'll just put my light. So once that's done, go back to the main menu and I just need to set up the Tasmota template for this device as well. So if you click configuration and configure other again, so back on the Tasmota database site, if I click the small plug device that I've got, and then again, just copy the template string and then paste it into the web interface in the template field. Make sure activate is ticked as well and just set the device name and friendly name again. So for this, I'm, I'm using my light and then click save. So at the moment, I'm still accessing it via the IP address. So you can test accessing it via the host name if you just type in the address bar. So it's HTTP colon slash slash and then my light. And it should, it should open the web interface again via that address. So the smart plug should be set up now. So I just need to go back to the motion sensor web interface. I can then access this via the host name as well. So it'll be HTTP colon slash slash then my motion sensor. On some routers, sometimes like OpenWRT, you have to add dot .lan suffix to the end of it. But I don't think on most routers, you don't need to do that. On the main menu, click the console button. And now we just need to write the main rule to control, uh, control the light. In the video description, you'll see the rule string listed. So if you just paste that into the console and then press enter. In this rule to turn the light on and off, it's, it centers my light. So you can, if needed, you can replace this with the specific IP address of the device as well. But as we're using the host names, I'll, I'll just keep it as my light. Just to describe what the rule does, the rule has two statements. So the first section, it asks when the motion sensor state is on. And it says do backlog and um, backlog is just a queue of instructions what you can specify. So the first instruction there is web send to my light power on. Then the second instruction starts a timer off for 20 seconds. So you, you can put that to whatever you want, but after 20 seconds, when the time has elapsed, it then sends another command to the light to power it off. So back to the console after the rule has been entered, just need to enable the rule. So we just type rule one space one and press enter. That should enable that rule. So we can now see it working. So if you just look for on the motion sensor, when it turns blue at the top, 
you should see the, the rules kick in. So it sends the command to the smart plug to turn on. And in the console, you can see where it says T1, which is the timer one that started. So in the console, if you just type rule timer one, you'll see the timers there listed. And if you keep typing rule timer one, you'll see it counting down. So when the timer completes, it then sends another command to the light to power it off. That's the automated light all done. There's so many possibilities with this, so just check the Tasmota commands link in the description as well, where you can delve deeper into it. I made this video as I found there's not that many simple examples out there for Tasmota timers and rules. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.